Welcome back everyone to NBA 2K22 2K Simulations. Uh, this one's going to be what happens if you draft only power forwards. I honestly think this one's probably going to be the best. The last time we ended up doing it, we ended up doing small forwards. And they got 43 and 39, but just barely didn't make the playoffs. Um, hopefully this is the team that can rival um, the centers. I thought this was going to be the best one all along. So hopefully that, that ends up doing it. Hopefully um, we end up getting drafted by a, a new team. If it's not, then we'll, we'll just redo it until we haven't played it. But so far it's two and two for east and west. So we'll see if this one's uh, east or west. So in three, two, one, go. So it's Detroit Pistons. One away from the Raptors and us having to redo it. So that's great. So let's see where we end up picking. I'm pretty sure we're going to, hopefully we end up getting a good player. So it looks like we're going to have two good players back to back. Um, but we have the choice of Siakam, Sabonis. So we'll go with, I feel as though we can go with Sabonis first. Um, he's going to be our pick. And then second, it looks like it's going to be Siakam. So we'll go with both these guys. Um, and then we'll probably end up, hopefully we can get John Collins after that. Yeah, I think this one's probably going to be the most probably versatile that we can get. Um, in terms of like sizes and abilities, I think you can play several different positions with us. But we're going to have back-to-back. -back. This is going to be uh, good and really bad. So we got Aaron Gordon here. Aaron Gordon, who can... I mean, there, I don't think there's really any three threats here. I mean, other than maybe Gallinari. So we got to kind of pick that. Um, but it looks like Gordon might be the best bet here. Um, yeah, we're going to go with Gordon here. And then the next pick, since we don't have to pick for a while. Uh, I feel as though it has to be Clark or maybe even Vanderbilt here. His defense looks unreal. A minus, A minus. So maybe we go with him. Go with the younger guy. Hopefully uh, we get some of the, the bigger, better veterans here. But it seems seems kind of kind of crazy to have. Uh, yeah, Gallinari. And then Boucher, I feel as though that's probably what we're what we're gonna do here. Yeah, we'll do we'll do the the wrap after. And we got Boucher. Yeah. Hmm. Beta maybe actually. He is a three point threat. Yeah, we'll go with that. Hopefully Boucher's left. It's a risk, but um, yeah, I just saw him taken. So it doesn't look like Bush. How Horford looks like it's the next one. Um, Rudy Gay still in the league. Got PJ Tucker, Marcus Morris. Let's see who else we got here. I mean, they're all pretty close. Trey Lyle, Larry Nance. Hmm. You know what? Uh, let's go with. Let's go. I, I, yeah, PJ Tucker, maybe. Yeah, let's go with PJ Tucker here. And then we'll go with uh, probably Morris or O'Neill here. No, we'll go. All right, now we're just going to go straight for, for scoring, like short scoring. I don't think size really matters with these guys. Power forward, so maybe not this. Um, Javante Green maybe looks like the, the better option here. Or... 
Uh, Leonard, you know what? We'll go with Leonard here. These two picks in a row is, is very uh, upsetting. I feel that, that might actually factor in as well. Lamar Stevens here, he doesn't look like he's that great. Uh, we'll go with uh, Torrey Craig for his defense. I still think, I don't think it's going to matter as much. Power forwards, Nyang. Um, who's this guy? Covington. That, his defense just looks unreal. Three point threat. Bertans. Yeah, I, I like that guy too. Um, yeah, we'll go with him. And then there's only two picks left. So we got the back to back picks. And Kleber. Huh. I mean, it feels like it's all pretty much going to be the same. It's just going to be pretty much Jabari Parker. I like that guy. So I'll, we'll pick Parker probably with our, our last pick. Just for the name. I don't think it really matters. It's, I mean, let's, you know what, let's go for... If we can't get Jonas, we'll go for his brother. See if that ends up mattering at all. I don't think he's going to play at all, but um, but just as good. So auto-generate rookies again. Let's kind of look at our uh, salary cap here. 159, so it's not, it's not the most, not the least, but... Siakam's probably the highest paid. Um, then Gallinari, so that's probably why we're able to get these guys. Um, let's look at the coach game plan. So it looks like Vanderbilt ends up getting the point guard nod. Craig ends up getting the shooting guard. Gordon, small forward. Siakam, power forward, and it looks like he is our center. So overall, it looks like a decent team. Our bench is possibly where we're going to end up suffering, but Gallinari, I think, might end up being able to push his way onto the roster for sure. So let's hope for that. Um, if I had to predict, I I think I think it's at least 40 wins, maybe 45. I thought our, our team was going to be drafted a bit better than what it was. Um, 50 may be a bit of a stretch, but we shall see. I think 45 is probably a good one. Um, starting off all right, though. 5-2, um, and two, so already it looks like it's a, it's, it's a bit. Maybe, maybe it can win the most... Uh, wins in the regular season I don't think uh, it being in Detroit will have much of a factor I don't think Detroit are known for their uh, home field advantage there um, but 17 18 and 6 yeah you know what it might I think I think 45 at least is uh, as a pretty good estimation um, but yeah that's that looks 25 and 9. So I feel so 50 50 is in within reach for sure. Um, or at least that's what I'm hoping. Then that would make it so it has the best regular season record. Um, but 32, I mean, I think 45 is enough to uh, to make the playoffs. So there's that. It looks like they've dropped the last couple ones. So hopefully uh hopefully they end up managing to get a bit more they need at least 10 wins to get the mark that i thought so there's two there no contract extensions they're just dropping a bunch lately Jeez, this isn't good so 45 so 
Jokic. So 43 and 39 with the exact same record as um, as what we end up doing last time. Hopefully that means that it's enough to make it to the playoffs. So Jokic, um, Mobley, Westbrook up here with the sixth man. Jonas always gets an award here. Desmond Bain and Billy Donovan. So let's hope that we end up making it. Um, doesn't look like any of our guys end up getting all team. Spawnus got uh, got best board so and second team, so that's good. It's good to see that, that we got at least something. All defense, nothing. Yeah, we got nothing in all defense. And I don't think we had any rookies, so yeah. So Detroit manages to get the seventh seed, so it's going to be another struggle here. Hopefully we end up beating New York. Um, I'd really love it for us to end up uh, making it at least past the play-in. Looks like we got it. So it's against Toronto, which was the last team that we ended up playing. So hopefully we end up making it past it. We'll do just the round here. And it looks like, yep, yeah, looks like the power forwards end up beating Toronto. Seven seed against th three seed here. And wow, for the first time, I do not see Lakers anywhere. So Phoenix, Minnesota, Kings again, and Portland. But Kings are the eighth seed here, not the top seed. And then you got Chicago and Brooklyn. Brooklyn, another, another one that uh, seems to be coming up pretty often. Um, so let's hope that we end up beating, oh, beat Orlando. So right now this could eclipse the centers. This, the, this will, wow. So here, let's look at it. Portland and Phoenix, Detroit and Chicago. So let's see if we can win this round. And no, Pistons are eliminated in the conference finals. Let's see if we end up losing to the eventual winners. And yeah, Bulls. So it just comes down to luck here. Looks like uh, Bulls end up winning. Jimmy Butler again with an MVP. So it looks like who ends up drafting Jimmy Butler just goes on an absolute clinic. But still, we end up losing to the eventual winners, which means that there's a very good chance that Detroit could have possibly end up winning against the Trailblazers. So we'll end up looking at uh, how well our team ended up doing. Um, we'll just quickly look at the standings here as well. Um, so percentage-wise, I don't think, oh yeah, well percentage-wise we didn't, we didn't do that hot. We ended up finishing seventh here. So we'll end up looking at, what was our home record? So home record 26 and 15, nothing too special there. Points per game, we weren't at the top. Uh, no, we weren't at the top here. Yeah, we were a little bit closer to the the mid-range there. Um, but points against, we were towards the bottom. So that's, that's probably what ended up doing it. That was the difference between both of it. Uh, you have in the, uh, there you go, you have Golden State. We end up having the best record, points four here. We have Suns. There's another save that we end up doing for that. Lakers had the worst. So that's refreshing. Um, points against New Orleans had the, had the, uh, sorry, had the most against. And then, wow, Lakers had the least. But their home record still seemed like it was, it was pretty decent, a little bit better than what they probably should have. Um, so we'll end up looking at the uh, the player stats here. So 26.9 with Siakam just leading the way. Second pick, but it did not by much. It was basically just by one pick. Uh, offensive rebounds, that's what we did more than what we did before. Broken ankle. Wow, maybe that's what ended up doing it. Maybe Vanderbilt getting hurt could have played a factor. Maybe we should have turned off injuries. Um, rebounds per game, Spawnus ends up having the most. Assists, pretty good. Steals, again, Vanderbilt. He he may have been one of our rookie players. He may have actually done well. Field goals made. 
So Siakam leading it with field goals made. Um, and then percentage is Siakam for three. And then we have Burton's over here as well, but it doesn't look like he ended up doing too much. Um, we'll take a look at the Bulls here. Let's see how well they end up doing, who they end up having. So points per game, you have Butler. So Butler, and then he almost, he doubled pretty much. You got Drummond, Kuzma's on there. I like Kuzma. Um, you got Terrence Davis. Um, Rubio, Plumley as well. So their team was actually pretty good. Um, rebounds per game, you got, it's definitely seemed like a balance. Poto was on our, on our winners last time. Um, assists, you got, yeah, Plumley with pretty good bruised left hip season. So maybe he got hurt at the very end. Um, but from what it looks like, the best team to draft is strictly centers, followed by second place with power forwards, third place, small forwards, fourth, shooting guards, and at the very bottom, point guards. We'll end up doing, um, we'll possibly end up doing a, a ranking where it shows everyone's record and uh, what teams end up doing best. So well, we might end up doing that as a quick video in another one. Um, but this is an exciting save. Um, glad that, uh, they, there's a balance between what everyone ended up doing. Um, just looks like point guards kind of got the short end of that. Um, but, uh, yes, uh, power forwards didn't, did roughly around as much as what I wanted or what I thought that they would do just two wins away from the 45 guess. Um, but still just an exciting save. Um, so thanks everyone for watching and until next time.